Want to learn three productivity hacks for software engineers? If you're new to the channel, welcome to The Healthy Coder, where we cover tips and tricks to make you into a healthier programmer. As a programmer at a big tech company, I've experimented with a lot of strategies for better coding efficiency. And most haven't worked, but some did work very well. And I'll cover my favorite three strategies that I still use daily. To have time to be a healthy programmer, you need to be efficient with your programming. And with that being said, let's go into the first tip. So the first system I have for coding efficiently is called the Pomodoro Technique. And if you haven't heard of the Pomodoro Technique before, it's a strategy for getting work done in a focused way. So it's very simple. It relies on setting timers, working for a period of time, and then resting before starting the cycle again. And while it's very simple to follow, it's super effective because it keeps you focused and doing work in these cycles without getting distracted. And it's used for a lot of other domains as well. People use it for writing, for general business tasks. You can really use it for anything as a general productivity hack, but it's super good for coding because coding especially requires focus. And if you do any sort of context switching, someone sends you a text, you, you write a couple lines and you do something else, you get back into it. Your brain requires more effort and more time to get back to where it was before. So coding especially is great for the Pomodoro technique. So you can see the steps here, but they're very simple. First step is getting a timer and a to-do list. So for a timer, I like actually just going to Google like this and typing timer and Google has a timer for you to use right there that works well. Um, and then also to-do list. So maybe something like this, you know, your daily dev tasks. I want to write an API for updating the user field of info, create a front end piece, uh, make sure the data appears in the database, those kind of things, just general ideas of what you want to get done. And step number two is to set a 25 minute timer. So take your timer and set it for 25 minutes um, to go off. And then step three, work on your task until the time is up. So while the timer is running, you focus on your task. And the important thing to note here is, is that while it's simple, it includes also the stipulation that you have no distractions. So no, if someone messages you on Slack, no checking that, um, turn your notifications off, someone texts you and you're just waiting for your code to build and you start checking your phone, you can't do that. Because again, with coding, it you have to be in the right mindset. And if you do those kind of things, it breaks your, your focus and it'll take you way more time to get back in. That's part of the Pomodoro technique is that you have no distractions during your work. Um, and then step four, take a five minute break when the timer goes off. So at some point the timer goes off for 25 minutes and then you take a small break where you check your notifications on Slack or check your texts or read an article just to reset your brain for the next cycle. And then step number five, every five Pomodoros take a 15 to 30 minute break. So like this is for, this guide is for a general productivity thing, but for coding, like if you're if you're able to code straight for 25 minutes times five so like two hours over two hours like that's really i feel like tough to get a lot of code done especially if you're going to do multiple of these so i usually just do 20 25 minutes and then do uh four pomodoros but again it's up to you in terms of what you want to do and then i take 30 minutes rest because again you want to give your brain a reset and you're going to get so much work done if you continuously work for 25 minutes anyways you'll get so much code written um, regardless so here you can see the benefits of the pomodoro technique and obviously the main benefit is you get your work done and you're coding efficiently but uh, it has a couple other ones too which is it makes it easy to get started so if you have a coding tasks and you're just not feeling like coding for the day breaking it down into smaller ones and just starting with them makes it way easier to actually start coding. Um, the other one is obviously combating distractions. So with coding, it's so important to stay in the zone or else you have that mental context switching and it takes you way longer to finish your task than if you had just focused on it solely. Um, and then also, it because of the Pomodoro technique re requires you to write down what you got done, it helps you know where your time's going. So maybe like you thought a task was going to take 20 minutes or maybe there's only one sprint point in your uh, your sprint for work. But because you're accurately tracking your time for the tasks, you can kind of see what's going on. And that's cool with coding, especially because a lot of times you're working on something and you just 
don't realize it'll take way longer. Maybe it takes shorter. But those kind of things um, for coding features helps a lot to know where your time is going. And then the last one is it really does like gamify your productivity. So uh, a lot of coders, if you're like me, you like optimizing everything and you like being able to track things. It's kind of, I feel like a coder mindset. And so like when you're able to show what you're able to get done with your time, it feels really good and also you're able to link and say hey i got this many pomodoros done this day and it just gives a sense of uh gratification there and the second tip i have for coding productivity is using binaural beats now these i love using while programming and binaural beats are songs that make you feel a certain way because of the frequency that your brain hears when you listen to them and if you pick a focused frequency of binaural beats you're going to be more focused and you can see here that there's different types of frequencies that determine which mood you have because it depends on the frequency range that you hear. And what a binaural beat really is, is that when a audio song of a binaural beat is playing, your left ear hears one frequency, like 200 or something. Your right ear feels another frequency. And then your brain uh, hears both of those and then produces a third frequency. So you can really use binaural beats for exercising, for sleeping, for becoming more calm. But I like using them for focus, specifically with coding. And in terms of the studies, some of the studies show they work. Some of the studies uh, show that they don't have improvement or they're placebos. But for me personally, I've been using them ever since I, I read about them online, and they work tremendously. And the reason why they work, and I'll play some of them uh, next, but the reason why they're great is because they make you focus on the task at hand because it's almost like mesmerizing. And when you're coding and you have that audio going back, you really have no other distractions. And so here's one that I listen to a lot um, and I'll play it right now. But you can find a lot of these on YouTube or on other sites. I just use YouTube and you can search for them and there'll be 5 million of them. Um, but they're a fantastic way of staying focused and in the zone, which is obviously so important while you program. And it's also important to note that you're not going to like or feel the effect of every binaural beat if you type in binaural beat focus into YouTube uh, that you find. And the reason why is because they're really all different. You'll feel like um, because they affect your mood so much and they're very like mesmerizing, there's going to be some that you just connect with and then there's going to be other ones that you just don't like from the start. And so it's important to go through and just listen to a bunch of different ones. And when you find one that you do like, uh, save it and just use it uh, while you're programming because as you can hear from the songs, they're so mesmerizing. So the last tip I have for coding productivity is actually combining the two strategies. So take the Pomodoro technique. And if you remember, it's setting a timer for 25 minutes, doing four sessions of that, um, and then taking a break. Uh, and then plug in your headphones and turn the binaural beat on during those sessions. And so the reason why it's so impactful is, at least for me, I get really easily distracted while coding. And if you have the binaural beats playing during the Pomodoro session, it's very hard to get distracted because the, the sound is just so mesmerizing. And one important thing to note is you want to make sure your timer is louder than the binaural beats, which is why I like that Google timer, because you can set the audio on it, uh, else you'll never stop coding. And while we like programming, coding for an hour straight might be a bit too much. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed these productivity tips for using while you code. And if you have any productivity tips of your own, I'm sure you have some hacks, uh, post a comment in the comment section below and we'll check them out. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe to the video and I'll see you next time.